When I heard about the social engagement residency at the museum, I was really excited to have a you know have a chance to to work with them. Whenever I think of socially engaged art, I think of um, you know art that seeks to create social change. The social engagement residency program through the museum is really about expanding the focus and the dialogue the museum is having with the community, with the greater Santa Fe community. Hi, my name is Steven Yazzie. I'm a multidisciplinary artist uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Navajo, Laguna, and Anglo, and I'm here in Santa Fe and looking forward to my visit. Well, I'd like to reach out to a community here outside of IAI when I'm talking about, when I'm thinking about just the city of Santa Fe is the kind of the great disparities between um, wealth and, and, and people of great, great need. My name is Nathan Young. I'm Pawnee, Kiowa, and Delaware. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and my work engages installation, composition, uh, sound art, uh, sculpture. I've uh, studied as a, a composer um, with many artist composers, people who are um, using community to create um, unconventional forms of performance and music. And a lot of times it uh, can exist as a, an event score. Uh, event score can exist on its own and, and never be performed, but it's my intention to actually uh, to complete an event score called Build a Monument. My work deals with uh, the West, the Southwest, this region. I'm interested in, in issues that are related to community, to place, to uh, uh, indigenous culture. My project is called Knowing You Santa Fe and it's a data-driven community activated film project and I'm using uh, a survey data and a focus group to really give me and to inform the project from at, at the beginning stages. I used uh, SurveyMonkey. What is the best time of day to, to experience Santa Fe? And it looks like it's the afternoon is, is winning by some 40%. So that basically gives me the time of day that I'm going to be shooting this film. There are also questions that are asking about major issues that the community is dealing with. You know, is it politics? Is it health? Is it an education? And the focus group is really designed to ask some of the same questions, but in a way that's encouraging a conversation. Essentially, I'm, I'm hoping that what you guys are bringing to the conversation is the narrative or the, uh, the parts of the narrative or the story that everything is Santa Fe. The people in the focus group, uh, they all came from different backgrounds and they brought a lot of really amazing uh, and interesting perspectives about the community and it really gave me a lot of insight into you know, some of the activities, some of the beliefs, some of the perspectives that exist here. And my goal is to co-create a monument with the members of this community that I, that I want, that I'm trying to reach. Uh, people who are underserved uh, economically, struggling economically. I'll start off with, you know, uh, talking about uh, the organization. Generally, I'll just use their own words. This one's for the, the, the the Leadership Institute at the Santa Fe Indian Schools. I met with Regis Pecos and we talked for an hour about his, um, the Leadership Institute and, and kind of some of the things they do. Putting uh, American Indian thought and policy, uh, thought leadership into perspective. So I've been uh, working with these nonprofits in the city of Santa Fe, basically researching them, doing interviews with the uh, people that are the founders or people that are the workers, uh, the day-to-day -day workers for these nonprofits. Can you talk a little bit about the um, types of issues that, that you're dealing with often? Where we begin is with the recognition that poverty is a reality. 50% of children in public schools in the country live in poverty. Um, trying to learn about their day-to-day -day lives, really what are the materials, what are the tools they're using, and trying to recontextualize, like taking those tools, uh, say a brown paper bag, or say an art walk, or say a team building exercise and trying to reimagine them as uh, event scores. One part of the residency is we're given an opportunity to go uh, view some of the collections at a couple of museums here in the area. We've been asked to uh, request the items that we'd like to see.
whenever I was at the uh, the collections at uh, IAI, um, there was a, a piece in this this cozy uh, poster collection that really caught my eye, and it seemed to be kind of this um, Pueblo design. So really, I'm just uh, kind of importing um, importing this design in here again as a uh, more of a kind of a mock-up. Um, I want to use this 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 design. And I want to ask these, these people that are going through this leadership institute to kind of do this action, kind of recreating this design with people. I'm having a love affair with Santa Fe right now. I've been collecting images and uh, shooting a lot of uh, video and moving and traveling around throughout the, the city. And, um, and now I'm in the middle of constructing the film, the short experimental film. If one was just to come in to fly into Santa Fe for one or two days, they would get probably a really, uh, really, uh, they might get the wrong impression. They might, they might think that it's just a very, very affluent town, which it is. But um, being around, I've had the opportunity to to see that there is a second side of Santa Fe that is often um, just kind of has no voice, and that's that's who I wanted to work with. The work that I'm doing here in Santa Fe. I really believe can be connected to other communities. What I think is most meaningful is the revelation of how cultures, identity, um, ideas of place are really embedded in people that have lived here for a long time. I think that this work does connect to the larger, some of the larger problems in the United States today, and especially, you know, the economic disparities that. Um, are a big conversation in America today. Do you have anything else you want to say about the residency? I love this museum! <laughs>